good evening to everyone. Very, good evening, very, very good evening. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Very good evening. And thank you. Thank you so much for joining in. Very nice to see you all virtually and taking out time for yourself and your growth, which is very, very, very important for all of us. And we are starting at sharp seven o'clock without wasting a single minute. Okay, so very good evening to everyone. I'm Dr. Aparna Sethi. I come with 20 years of experience in HR. I worked in various industries like uh, manufacturing, service, education, and uh, now I'm completely on my own. We have a venture called ProTouch. So that is all about me. We are certainly going to see a lot of things, but you know, let me give you the quick glimpse of, because there are many students are there from ProTouch, but certainly there are many, many, many participants are there who are not from ProTouch and they are here today as a guest. So this is my introduction. I have also published two books. One book is The Art of Online Presentation, uh, which gave me a lot of insights that how your online presence makes a huge difference. And this is a lockdown story of mine because last time when we had a lockdown, uh, you know, we all struggled with how to go on, how to present ourselves. And my thoughts I have given and my experience I have expressed in this book. And another is where to draw the line, which is about sexual harassment at workplace. <laughs> I will request uh, all the participants to keep yourself on mute mode. That will be really great. Though, however, this was a really cute uh, giggle and I'm just loving the baby's voice, <laughs> okay? So uh, as far as ProTouch is concerned, we are into corporate training programs and we deliver a lot of sessions on emotional intelligence, sexual harassment of workplace, um, you know, first time managers, sales training, team management, team dynamics. So there are many, many programs we conduct for various corporates and across industry. We also provide sales leadership and consulting services in sales. One-on-one uh, -on -one coaching, team coaching is also done. Another thing is this about certification programs. So we do have uh, certification programs like Shriti, I request you to take care of your mouse because you know it is coming on the screen. So kindly please take care of the mouse. Okay, I, I, will, I will erase your drawing and creativity though. Okay. So uh, we uh, conduct a lot of certification programs, especially in the area of HR generalist, HR analytics. Uh, and these programs are also accredited by SR, SHRM and HRCI, which are two most important global institutions. And it's, uh, these are 90 hours programs. At the end of the, today's program, we will certainly give you a brief about it. Another program is certification program in Bosch Train the Trainer. So these are more focused on HR. Uh, so these are the programs we are delivering, but that's all. This is about ProTouch and we are going to begin the show now. Okay, so let's have a power chat. Now, what do I mean by power chat? Power chat means you are going to keep your laptop's caps lock button on. So if you are on laptop, please keep your caps lock button on, okay? And you are not supposed to use enter key. You will not use the enter key. And I'm going to give you 40 seconds. 40 seconds, just you need to keep on typing. What are the challenges you face during online or virtual interviews? Okay, what are the challenges you face during online or virtual interviews? And your time starts now. Don't press the enter key. Don't press the enter key. Okay, keep the caps lock on, keep on typing. Let's see what comes in in the chat box. Okay. 
Okay. Great. Keep going, keep going. Rahul, who is having, okay, network issue that is from your side. I hope it is not my from my side right now. Okay. <laughs> so now you can enter. Please, please, please enter. Let me see what are the challenges you find. Okay, amazing. Internet connectivity, sitting posture, focus on the camera. Sometimes video is not clear, lack of confidence, connectivity. Voice modulation, amazing. That's a that's a very unique challenges you which you have mentioned. Okay, interview is all about your voice, and especially during, you know, especially when you have online interviews. Absolutely, lack of confidence. Okay, nervousness. Okay, nervousness. Uh, background noise. Absolutely, background noise. Body language is coming quite quite frequently presence okay uh, so one person has written hr specialist so is uh, are we the question is what challenge you face or challenges you face during online interviews and many 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 people have written network issue thank you thank you so much for that and nervousness lack of confidence so pallavi these are always there even in face to face Okay, even on face to face, these are the challenges will be always there. Ch uh, presentation is not clear due to technical issues. Okay, is my my presentation or you are saying my presentation is not clear. Okay, focus issues. Fine. Great. So certainly today's session, what we are going to do is I will be giving you few tips. Okay. For around 25 to 30 minutes. Post that, we are going to have a lot of discussion and then we can take one-on-one -on -one, uh, one -on -one question. Is that fine with everyone? Use your reaction buttons. If you want to use, use your reaction buttons. Great. Someone has started sharing the screen. So I will say yes, please take care of it. Great. So you can also put your questions in the chat box as and when you want. But what, what is preferable is go through the complete presentation, go through the complete presentation and then put your questions because there is a possibility that most of the questions we will address during the presentation, okay? So that is what will be my suggestion. But if you feel like, go ahead, go ahead. That's what we can say. And I will suggest that if you can go in view Keep yourself on, keep it on speaker's view so that the other, dis, you know, for example, other distractions will not distract you, okay? So you will be focused on the presentation and on the presenter. So that will be very much helpful for you. Great. And thank you so much for coming up openly and expressing your challenges. So virtual interviews, yes, 100%, let me tell you, even though now, you know, the situation outside is very different and very unpredictable. So we really don't know what is going to happen. But still, even though regular offices start, virtual interviews are going to be now permanent. It is going to be there. In fact, there is a, another step has come into the picture that now there will not be any human intervention while conducting the interviews, but it will be completely technology driven. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean to say, you have to upload your interview, you know, video interview, you have to upload your questions. And then whenever the recruitment team, they have the timeline, they, they will go through your, you know, uh, presentations, they will go through your answers, whatever you have given, and then they will evaluate you and you will get to know whether you have cleared that interview or not. But still, many companies have still not opted for completely technology-driven recruitment, okay? So right now, we will have interviews. Maximum companies are going for virtual interviews. Great, so let's have a look at it. 
very important what we have seen here is, is your profile picture. As we know, you know, I will say uh, your entire interview depends on four aspects, four aspects. And those aspects are, first is I. I stands for infrastructure. Then it comes A. A is your appearance. That means how are you looking on the screen? It was there earlier also, but still it is very important. How do you look on the screen? Then there is a B. That means your behavior on the screen. And C, that is your communication. So I will say when you are having virtual interview, it is I and ABC. And we will touch upon all these points when we are having this presentation today. Most importantly, if, you know, for example, if it, even though you, even before you open your camera, what people see is your picture. Okay. So now, for example, right now also we can see few picture. Like for example, we have Taiziba, then we have Navya, we have Nikita Rai. We can see their pictures. We have Lokesh picture is on this. I hope you all are able to see their pictures. Yes or no? Let me know on the screen, right? Please understand your picture talks a lot about you. Hence, it is very important to have professional photograph of yours before even you begin your interview. And it is not only for interview now, now everywhere. So now if I may I ask you if, you know, we have a lot of pictures on the screen. So which is the most professional picture you get to see on the screen? Let me know, use your chat box. Which is the most professional picture? So there are two screens I can see right now, right? So there is Dr. Nita is also here, Dhruvi is also here, Pawan is here, uh -huh. Nekha, Rekha is here, Anushka is here. So let's see, whoever is on your screen, just have a look at it, observe their photograph. I'm sure you were not prepared for it, but that's okay uh -huh. because you, know, you do get a feedback there and there only and it will certainly work. And many, many people, okay, Rahul is uh, uh, on live, live, his, his photograph is not there, but I think his background, virtual background is making a lot of difference. Arti is also having her camera on, I suppose. It's not her profile picture. Arti, you can show your hands, move your hands so that people will get to know. Okay, so she's looking picture perfect though, but she is there live, okay? So very important, Dr. Nita's photograph is there. Yes, absolutely, I have seen that. And we all know what do we mean by professional photograph, right? So do click a wonderful photograph of yours, which will be only till your, you know, maybe till chest, not even below that. Your full photograph is not required on your, on your profile picture, especially when it is a professional. Okay, one thing, um, if you have clicked, it is fine, but it is preferable. Another thing, most of the time we have seen uh, Barbie dolls. We have seen some cartoon characters coming. Please understand, it talks a lot about you. Isn't it? It talks a lot about you. It is better not to have picture then. And sometimes it is like, oh, I did not know about that. Please have a look at it, that how do you look? That is your profile picture. Another thing, your names. What is names? Now, for example, we can see few numbers, telephone numbers or something coming on the screen. Always have your num name on the screen. It is a very simple thing. You can go on your profile you know, window, there are three dots you will get to see once you go on three dots go on rename and just say put your name it can be only 
Aparna, Dr. Aparna, whatever you want people to call you, you know, just do that. And you can change your name. Because the best part is when you are having a name, people can connect with you because recruiters keep on conducting many interviews and they may get, you know, confused with the name. Hence, very important, have your name on the screen. Okay? Dress professionally. Now, professional is very important. Let me tell you, there was a time when work from home was new and it was perfectly all right if you are in your pajamas or it was perfectly all right if you are in t-shirt. But it is no more new thing. We have all got used to it. And by this time, we should be clear on this that how are we dressed up? Because especially if you are looking at it, till here, your visual is there. And hence, it is very important if you are having, go conservative. Because please understand one thing. You know, I know the trend is changing. I know youngsters are there. I know going casual is a cool thing in the market and industry. But the people who are conducting your interviews are about 35. They come from a very different generation. And we don't know how the culture is. So let's not assume. So what I will suggest you, don't go very, very, very formal and don't go very casual. Like I'm not asking you to go with a three-piece suit. Okay, I'm not asking you to have a tie. Similar for both the genders I'm talking about, right? But very important, a formal shirt, a collar shirt. Girls, if you're there, your neck should be till here, you know, which is visible in the screen. It makes a huge difference than if you are having the deep neck. I hope that will help all of you. Always go, always go in a very, very uh, faint color. Faint color, which looks very bright on the screen. Okay, which is very important. Another thing what you can keep it in mind is your background. Can you see the background? In your house, there will be a background. If not, create that background. Create that background, okay? Plain background. You will get one wall which is very plain, right? And if you have a dark background, wear a faint color dress. If you are having a, a light color dress, if you are having a dark, uh, a faint background, then go for the darker shade. It makes a huge difference because appearance makes a huge difference. Now, there are many people who will say, you know, oh, isn't it a bias? Yes, it is a bias but it is a psychology and we cannot control it. I'm sure you are also evaluating people on the same basis, isn't it? Right now also. Yes, in the similar way people are going to do it. So very important is your presence and we are not expecting you to do very high level and very high fund or no, but very important is the basic hygiene should be maintained, okay? Because that is a part of your presence, right? Don't leave your profile photo blank. Use an icon instead of photo or use selfie and a group shot. Please don't do that. So that is all about your appearance. I hope I address your doubts on that. If you have, you can always ask me little later. Then your technology. A uh, very important thing I would like to mention here is, if you are using, if you have an option, then always take interview through your laptop and not from your mobile. Because laptop is handy, laptop screen is quite better, you know, and laptop makes a huge difference because when you are giving a, Resume, uh, you know, interview during that time, you may want to show some document to other person. Right? So very important, your hands should be free when you are talking. 
okay like for example you are having those uh, and, and right now i don't have but you know those mic mic also most of the time people keep it like this as as they karke kuch rakhte and they're like bringing that mic all the time here all the time here they put it literally i have seen it during interview like this no have a proper mic go i don't want to <laughs> you know uh, promote amazon but yes you do get good mics in 100 rupees also and that is the investment now you all we all need to make isn't it so use a proper microphone now for example in my laptop i have seen and observed when i talk without a mic my voice goes very well but if i put a microphone or something mic then it doesn't go properly so you need to try it very important thing your meetings can happen on zoom meets google uh, google meets anywhere it is very important for all of you to get familiar with the system okay now how do you get i i recall my days when i used to go for interviews and i was not knowing the place in one day before if i have a time i used to go and visit those places so i know the road i know which turn i know whether there is a parking or there is no parking it used to make me mentally prepared for it because i know the place very well isn't it in the similar way i will suggest that you know go on the link which link they have given check what platform they are using if you are not aware ask your friends and be prepared for that platform it now it is almost a one year and <laughs> maybe another lockdown we are going to hit right and we still don't know how to share our screen we still don't know and then we keep on calling people hey, help me help me help me it shows our confidence level is going down and it will make you feel nervous because let me tell you technology added a lot to our nervousness isn't it you know i have seen personally when many people are coming from career breaks and all they are not used to this system and that's why mobile is the not good way to take the interview uh, you know use it during interview but go on laptop use it as much as you can be comfortable with the system network problem many people have said many people have said and we all know it we need to solve it see what i personally feel i also face like i conduct a lot of corporate sessions and every time my fingers are crossed oh my god not today not today okay then i i log in from two devices i log in from my i i don't know today also something may go wrong but have you taken precaution have you prepared for it is very important so what i personally do if i am logging in from laptop i will also log in from my mobile so that just in case if one laptop or one device is not working properly i will have another device for me and then it is just just a change isn't it and that shows your intelligence that shows how you keep the backup plan ready okay go to friends please go to friends please go anywhere but having a good network is very important and then people say you know can we have a call on whatsapp it is difficult isn't it so please take care of the network which we cannot we cannot uh, work on this so someone has started sharing the screen kindly stop <laughs> sharing the screen so that's all that that all keep on happening but we have to show all the uh, you know patience okay so that is another thing and uh, okay we have seen this 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 okay download the latest softwares because sometimes if you are going on browser you know if you are logging in from browser then certain things will not support the system so you need to have proper apps and proper software to be downloaded and these are freely available what is need required is your effort that's all 
okay so that is about all about technology hmm? another thing is very important take care of your house very 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 important for all of you to keep it in mind i am not saying clean complete house water is coming on the screen because believe me people can see everything and people are they going to object no but that shows your preparedness for the interview that shows the common sense okay use lights like for example right now we are in the night time right use there should be proper lights you do get you know good lights and i am sure that to make reels to make tiktok videos up now tiktok is not available but people buy that 200 rupees wala you know that ring simple investment see now you don't have to travel you don't you know there was a time when we used to take a train plane to or maybe go 40 kilometers drive to attain that interview now everything is here little investment is required from candidates side okay very important make a test call adjust your webcam uh, this is very important because and you know you need to go before person joins suppose they are going to give you the entry then it's completely different thing but if they are not going to give entry and you can just log in then you can go but sometimes most of the time we see like this you know for example right now also if you see there is a book which i have used okay this much length you can say the height is required now it totally depends on what table are you using what size it is okay so that is how you have to look at it that the chair you are using how is it most comfortable chair you must use which is very important and i'm sure we all have that can be even your dining table chair right we don't need a only thing you should be comfortable then your camera should be adjusted properly there are these are basic fundamental things which are very very important okay then close any programs if not because that is going to take your internet more okay so please if there are any other programs are open then please make sure that you know this program should be closed now most important thing which we are coming to which i think it will help you a lot always you recall the days when we used to carry our resume copy with us am i right things have not changed today also only on virtual have your copy in word pdf document ready with you whenever required you can share it on the screen and for that you must know how to share the screen and all right now how are you going to get the winning edge everyone is giving interviews so i would like to give certain tips here i will suggest you to keep your specially 99% or 100% you are going to get one question tell me about yourself in one or the other form isn't it tell me your journey what are your strengths uh, let me let us know more about it could you please take us through your journey right these are the questions so 99 to 100% you are going to have this question i will suggest if you want to have edge over others keep your presentation ready not big not long maybe three slides talking about you can you make it use high resolution images very important which are available use again please understand there was a time right in between we used to say oh it is not about presentation ppts but now ppt plays a major role now good visuals plays a major role so 
professional use there are a lot of sites available like canva and all where you can have a great presentations great templates ready right high resolution is another site from where you can get great images download those invest in yourself believe me that is going to give you a jawaharlal what do you think isn't it let me know yeah thank you dhruvi certainly keep that up and that shows your confidence another tip i would like to give it to you you forget you, whenever you are talking you don't have to look at aarti rahul or sheli or tanya no you have to look in the camera because on their screen where you are you have no clue you have to keep looking at the camera and that is how it shows that you are looking there on the camera straight look is that fine with everyone yeah that is important you tend to forget certain things and you know one thing you have a great opportunity on virtual interview you can use the sticky notes instead of even writing in the diary use a sticky notes and that can be in the short form and which you can keep it near camera so that you can recall those words and nobody get to know but i'm not asking you to cheat let me tell you we have also found cheaters like for example there was one person was talking on the microphone and that phone had that sponge so you know half of your lips gets hidden and that is the time he was talking but actually his friend was giving answer because we don't get to see whether that mic is attached to your laptop or not but interviewers are not fool don't do that what will happen you will not get that job but believe me if it is goes in the industry it will have a very 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 bad impression about you isn't it so very important if you are not comfortable with english if you are not comfortable with something you can always say i'm little challenged in english so i will talk slow i will speak slow i hope you will not mind okay perfectly all right tell your fear sometimes first so that you are free to talk other thing yeah another thing is called your video resume presentation is one video resume let me tell you today each job needs digital skills each job maybe hr marketing finance everywhere and if this is another opportunity for you to display your technology skills so what i'm going to do i'm going to show you three video uh, two video resume one which is very nice okay and you are a tech generation you you know i'm 45 years old you you are young you can use i'm sure you make so many great snapchats and use lot of things you can use those also so i will show you one which is a really good video resume me and one which i have made it very long back okay so if you are not able to you are not so skillful to do that way but then still you can use a simple way of making your video resume okay so let me show it to you great so make sure your when you are sharing your com computer sound is on optimize screen sharing for video clip should be on okay so let's have a look at so this is the one of the best aparna recording ka mandate hai oh yes thank you so much for reminding me that just a minute so stop recording and can i pause it i'll just pause it let me see yes i'll pause it from you now this is one kind of video right which we have all seen sometimes you will also have a challenge madam can we make it so informal kind of a video yes 
there is always a risk. So go for what you say, you know, for example, you don't want to wear very traditional clothes and lot of very casual clothes. What do you do? You have Indo-Western clothes. Am I right? You need to use the same strategy for this. So you will not make it extremely casual, but it's not very formal. So how you can make it, you can keep trying, show it to your friends, get uh, you know feedback on LinkedIn, get feedback from your parents, everyone, and you will still make it better, better, and better. Make four or five version of your, you know, your uh, video and you will get a feedback and then you can take a call on it. But certainly, if you have this kind of resume, I'm telling you, in today's world, it is going to give you edge over other. Now, I would like to also show you my video, which I made it a few years back, but I still use it. And you please observe how things are going you know, and keep your questions ready.
Okay, so that is my video resume. <laughs> Thank you, Rahul, for expressing your love. Thank you so much for that. So, thank you, Nishita. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Preeti. Thank you so much. So that video is only about five minutes, but those five minutes are giving a lot of information about you. Isn't it? And what I have used? A simple video app where I have put all the pictures. There is no, no animation, nothing. Isn't it? And I have given you the song which will hit everyone's heart. Right? Hey, you know, that shows my energy, conviction, confidence that I want to do something in life. Isn't it? That is what it is. Any observations you had? Let me know. Any observations? Any questions? Okay. Uh, this app came back four to five years back. Um, which was very, very, very basic app. You know, you just download uh, like a Filmora, you just add all the photographs, have background music, MP3, uh, MP4 music, and you're done with it. Nothing. Thank you so much, Rekha. Thank you so much. So please understand, have you observed I started with my passion first? You know why? When you give your, you know, of course, when you are on one on one, you may not be able to give your passion first. You may have to start with family and all. But, you know, very important here is you start with your passion because that works like an ice breaking for others. You know, it immediately brings that smile. Getting my point? Oh, wow, that's nice. I mean, we did not know about your theater achievements. That's my passion. And then, you give everything. How's your work? How was the feedback? Feedback also was given very certain way, right? Then if you look at it, and it was very important, please understand when you use pictures, when you use picture, it gives the trust to the person because we believe in what we see. We don't believe in someone is talking. Isn't it? When, when we have to give something, you know, are newspaper mein aaya hai. Are, are photo dekhi hai. It can be edited. <laughs> but when we are saying photo dekhi hai, and then we are done. So these, these kind of things will, do you think this will help to have edge over other? And I will tell you one thing. When you will see your own video playing now, you yourself feel so good and all the nervousness and everything comes down. I mean, you know, you get that feeling, yaar, zindagi itni bhi buri nahin thi. Right? Kuch to kiya hai. I think that feeling is very important before you face any interview. So what I will suggest you, you use certain apps. There are very free apps are available. And I'm sure, is there anyone in life who has not taken the selfie yet? Is there anyone? No, right? Uh, Shelly, I will come to your question. Okay. So everyone has a good photograph. Everyone has something. If, if you make reels, you can also show that very proudly because you're not committing in a crime. That I love to do that. And people want to see people who are having nowadays passion. You should know what is your stress buster. Right? And that helps. So now I will open it for, uh, let me see if something is missing out from the thing which I wanted to give it to you. So there are some videos I have kept, one or two. So towards the end, when the interview is there, always state your interest in the position. Okay. Another thing, uh, very important, send personalized thank you. So interviews, you must say thank you. Okay, so I think this is very important to know. And you can also ask them about, you know, uh, how will they get back to you? What is the next step? So you can always say that if you have any prominent questions to ask to the recruiters, you can ask. But, you know, I will see what you're saying is right. You need some information before you work anywhere. 
but in the first interview avoid asking about leave avoid asking about you know for example how many calls i need to make what will be my target ask about what's your plan about the expansion go through their website ask a genuine question like for example you know i i went through the website and got to know this is one of the value which you follow could you please let me know what is that that shows you are prepared also so ask very genuine questions than leaves than saturday sundays than anything getting my point it will impact in a great way otherwise you know it doesn't give a good impression that is what i will say and now let's open it for the question yes uh, so let me see what are the questions nikita is asking can we ask interviewers experience in the company How, wh why do you want to know that Uh, yes, actually, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. I have seen some people telling uh, online in the videos that you can ask interviewers' experience that how they uh, were and what they have done, how they face the challenges and all. That kind that interviewers. I mean, Nikita, the scene uh, situation here is you are going for the interview and you are asking to the interviewer how is your experience in the the same company. Yes. Okay, Nikita, what do you think? Are they going to tell you uh, truth, or are I they going know. to give you some sugar-coated answer? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Maybe the second one. So, so do you remember in the class? I I don't know you are our student or not, but do you remember in the in the selection process we always say why do you want references? If I'm giving reference of Shelly, I know she is going to talk good about me. I mean, what is the use of it? Okay, okay, sure, ma'am. think about it i mean in official interview process why will you say oh my god don't join no, <laughs> right not that. So that yes is thank you thing. welcome yes shelly over to you ma'am uh, my question is that what if if i don't have any winning winning picture like i have selfies and other it's stuff okay. it's okay see there are certain things like for example you have worked in the earlier office right yeah. what is the thing you have learned what are the projects you have worked yeah right yeah. Uh, see when you have experience i always say when have you have official have, photographs that i have that is okay so we don't see don't try to make it extra you know fancy fine what you are it okay. is very important what you are are you comfortable in those you know those photographs that is very important can you show yeah. your family photographs right very nice can you show your baby's photograph yes can you say okay i work with xyz company and you know the company uh, i learned recruitment now you don't have photograph but can you take something from google and put that and what is the learning you have done what profiles you manage so when you have experience i always say you know when you have experience you always ask for the higher salary okay i have experience i deserve better salary but very important here i will say you have to mention what is the significant impact you have made in the last role what problems you have solved it can be very simple problem it can be like for example i used to work as a recruiter and to fill up this particular position people used to take 30 days after that we have a process and we have got this to 24 days i mean you know so much percentage of impact you have made recruitment positions i have i used to work in maybe you know non it mid level positions and i used to close every month eight positions see it talks about impact it is not possible that you have not done anything in life because especially people who have come on this forum they are so dead to see that you know you have option 7 to 8 go sit after office hours what you need to do but you are here because that shows the commitment am i right you will have and you know chelly i will never forget when i had a first training assignment i was supposed to deliver with another training trainer and the trainer was extremely you know uh, experienced and i was like oh my god and i saw the trainer slide and i was like i have only two lines to write but you know i sat down i went through my fb i went through my resume 
I went through everything and I got to know I have quite a good number of things to tell. Every time it is not award and reward. Okay. So you have to think about it. Now this video was five minutes. You can make it only for two minutes. Getting my point. You will always have something. For example, you love cooking. Can you show one photograph with the dish that I love cooking? Only thing is this, you know, yes. You have to balance out what are you showing. So you can also make your video, show it to Rahul, show it to me, show it to your batchmates, take feedback on it. We are, we are not using our existing network. In our weekend batch, there are so many people, you just ask for a feedback and you will get it. Isn't it Shelly? Yes, ma'am. Great. So I think there are some few more questions. As, uh, Supriti, most of the time being an interviewer, you know, I feel extremely uncomfortable to give a feedback there and there only. Okay. So whoever is the middle person, like for example, you have an HR executive or someone, you can always ask that. Okay. But on face becomes very tough to give feedback. If it is good, nothing like it. But if it is not that good, I mean, it is a very, uh, very difficult situation for the interviewers. That's what I feel. I feel uncomfortable if immediately someone asks, so kya sa your performance? I, mean, I can't say that. <laughs> okay, so that is one thing. So avoid if you can. But what I will suggest to you when, you know, now, for example, I give always training. I maintain my note journal. After every session, whenever I'm giving sessions, I maintain one journal, which tells me what I did good in this and what I would have done better in this, right? What is the, what is the feedback I have received from the participants? I think that makes a huge difference. So, you know, instead of asking to them, you can also, I'm, I'm sure your heart and mind tells you, I think here I went wrong, ye nahi bolna tha mene. right? And generally your gut feeling is right. So I think that, that I hope I address, address that question. If interviewer asks the reason for leaving, I, honestly, only thing is this, um, uh, I think name I forgot, Tanzia. Uh, Ma'am Shraddha, I have asked that if the interviewer asks the reason for the change and the original reason for the change is only for the salary thing. So can we uh, be like uh, proper, like, can we say the truth? Like, yeah, I this will, is the I will suggest main you something, Shraddha. A uh, very important yes, thing is this. Do not creep at all about your previous employer. Okay. Because please understand. You know, you think that interviewers are believing you, okay? But interviewers are sitting this side of the table and all other first employers, they are able to connect with them, okay? So do not creep at all. Only thing is this, why do you want to move? I will not say that um, lie, but you also need to look at learning opportunities. You need to also look at role because now for example last three years i'm into recruitment and i think i have reached to the expert level or to the level not okay, expert don't use expert word but i have reached to this level now i need to get the exposure to the next role which is very important for my growth and career okay it makes sense right yeah and understand salary you are going to get now which is exactly. transactional 100% and salary you're not going to get lesser than the, your current job, right? Yes, ma'am. Then why? Okay. No, ma'am. So basically I give a few interviews. So like based on like main reason of like uh, here when I'm working in uh, XYZ currently in whichever organization I'm working in. So like this is the main reason why I want to move from this organization. Okay. So, but maybe yeah, uh, see... Uh, Maybe this may not be taken in a great taste. Yes, ma'am. Okay. That is why I and, understand. And slightly you can mention that, you know, and I would also like to have some financial growth. Okay, ma'am. Sure. Or financial stability, you know. 
Yes, you can say that. And then you use economic stability, financial stability, this kind of terminology. It's not about money, honey. Yes, ma'am. So that is sure. how I will tell you. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. So now someone is asking me in a private window, can you suggest few names of website from where we can get templates of the presentation? So you can go for Canva. Canva is my favorite. I, say, I think I should become their brand ambassador. <laughs> okay, that is one. Another is uh, Pinterest. You get a lot of images from there. There is another. Is, there are many. So you just suggest, uh, go on Google and figure out you know, websites like Canva and you will get competition and all everything. Okay, because it is all about over a period of time, your comfort, right? Uh, which is good and all. Okay, so Lakshya is asking, first of all, Lakshya se pehle, I think Saiziba is there. If interviewers ask the reason of leaving previous job, I think I have addressed that question, right? Okay, so Lakshya, uh, what to do with nervousness? Yes. Practice. There is no other way. Practice, 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 and your self talk. Hey, you can do it. Okay. And believe me, everyone uses a different technique. Someone uses breathing, someone uses power position, someone uses uh, walking, someone uses drinking water, someone uses pauses. So please understand, bimari eki hai, dawai alag alag hai. Aur har ek ko apni dawai suit hoti hai. So you, like for example, you have a fever. Aaj ke tarik mein nahi bolna chahe. But if you have fever, someone take dolo, someone take comiplum, someone take scrosin. Because they feel that suits me. Isn't it? So you also have to go through this. Yes, I was also nervous. All the time. But it's like, you know, you have to practice. And I've seen people do not give mock calls. I really don't understand why. You have friends, you have Zoom, you get people together and believe me in mock calls, you will improve like anything. From every interview, you will learn, oh my God, how is it going? Because you know, you also need to learn from your own perspective, as, as from interviewer's perspective. Are you getting my point? Like for example, you have to put yourself in that seat, which is very important. Mock calls will help you a lot. Video calls, keep that phone in front of you and talk for hours. See the recording. You, you are not supposed to post anywhere. We are nervous. We can't even see ourselves for a fraction of a second. Are we that bad? And then, sorry to say, but then let that Karina Kapoor attitude come. I'm my favorite. Yes, I am. That gives you a, that great feeling. And it can be anything that, for example, for with me, that attitude worked. Yes, I am filming. What is wrong in that? And I said it, that I'm a big fan of Madhuri Dikshit. So what, what's wrong that? It's not a crime, right? So get over. Get over. You have to practice, practice. Practice. Only thing what I personally feel, practice so much that when you have a great opportunity in place, you know, that is the time you are not preparing during that interview. And that practice, that practice should be done before. Because then, you know, over a period of time, your script will also get ready. Because your mind gives you unconsciously the words, ah, last time this worked really well. This time, let me try. Practice. Okay, great. Thank you. If asked me expectation salary, you can say whatever is your expectation. But it should not be like, for example, I was interviewing someone, uh, one person was getting 27,000. Then the same person, uh, when I asked how much you get in hand, then that salary has come to 24,000. And what is your expectation? I think beyond 30,000. There is no balance. So if you look at it, 20 to 30% hike generally you get. Okay, in India. Strengths and weaknesses, a very nice question. So 
whatever your strengths and weaknesses are you know first of all i don't understand one thing when you have to tell your strength you have to tell your strength my strength is i can speak well i can connect with people well keep it in mind keep it job relevant which will help you because you know when people are hiring you they are not looking at only job fitment they also look at personality fitment okay the personality should match with the job which is very important like for example if you are a introvert and you know your job requires you to be out you know outgoing talk to people too much then it will be very tough right so very important relevant to your job which is which is what i will say okay and weaknesses are also but when you say weaknesses they will also expect you to tell what are the steps you are taking to get over these weaknesses so please keep that in mind you know you need to work on this so those steps okay let me see shelly before that we go to you let me see is there any question i have missed out okay almost all questions yes ma'am um, question uh -huh. is it's regarding the salary mm -hmm. the full time job it was in ua in 2000 uh, my last job was in 2017 end mm -hmm. so that time it was uh, the cpc was 7.5 okay um, that was in hand i think uh, I, i think we should have this discussion you know on one on one not on public forum i will say this to you yeah that will that will be helpful for you because your case is different your priorities are different for sometimes you know salary is not a priority sometimes only coming yes, back is a that's why i wanted to ask that where please is please understand the everyone has got a very different kind of priority please understand uh everyone like for example there is a person who is working in marketing or sales or finance that person wants to shift to hr so that is the time your target is shifting and not the salary yes sometimes sometimes you know you are work, already worked in that and sometimes it is only salary sometimes it is a brand sometimes you know just coming back career break so we cannot compare and we cannot have a same answer for everyone that is what i will say so uh, i have said it to you and you are asking me i have told you that you know your conversation you can see it in my whatsapp i have kept it on prime priority basis this is our whatsapp yeah and certainly i'm going to talk to you because tomorrow also i have tomorrow day after tomorrow saturday and sunday eight eight hour sessions i have back to back so let's wait for next week i will certainly take out time for you okay Great, Anup. You have a question. You have yes, Anup. Go ahead. Oh uh, yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I have already written in the message because I'm traveling now. Actually, okay. ma'am, basically I'm in the recruitment sector for the for past four years. Huh. Hello. Ha ha. Go ahead. So if if I want okay, to I... switch to be a teacher executive huh. in payroll compliance, huh. so actually the first question they will ask me. you don't have any experience in the compliance that means payroll so why will uh, why yes. will take to you so anu uh, so this is a very typical challenge many people face while shifting okay yes ma'am yes ma'am so what generally we suggest and you know very important while shifting check if you can get any opening in your own company check i'm not saying you will but check that one internal transfer become more easy internal transition become much more easier one second if you are not able to go go for the hybrid role for example which will have recruitment more and payroll less it is okay okay at the beginning it can be 60 40 fine so in that 40% you will start getting exposure you will start getting lot of understanding about the role and then you will go for 50 50 or 100% shift right otherwise getting directly into the payroll i will not say it is impossible it is possible but it is 
sometimes it takes time. Like for example, one of our students, I forgot, he was a fresher from Pune, uh, MBA Institute. He got a first job in Peru. Okay, first job. So there are many people do get, you can also go to the generalist profile, okay, directly getting into the payroll, get into this generalist profile, and then you can shift also. And again, your preparation in payroll, you know, a very important, especially who are having a freshers and want to shift. Now people are moving from your experience to project. Your certif you know, certification makes you really qualified person. But along with that, if you can do some projects, it can be dummy projects, it can be live projects. That is going to give a lot of edge over other. Because then you have a lot of to talk about that, you know, payroll. Like, for example, if you read about payroll every day, one hour for coming three months, do you think anyone can stop you? So that is how it is. Shifting, it is not impossible, but yes, a lot of time you need to work in that direction slowly and gradually. If, if, if asked me why you shift, switched your job, huh, switch your job. So if you have some proper reasons, tell those reasons. I shifted for that, for financial stability. I shifted because of growth. I shifted because of the location. I shifted because of marriage. Of course, there is a one reason. Huh? There is, it's not possible that there is no reason. Am I right? When, when you shifted, tell that. Please be honest. First of all, think your interview is a discussion, especially after experience. You're trying to find out whether it is matches to your requirement or not. You will try to fit in in that job. And after three months, you will say, oh, this is not my calling. And then it is very difficult. So go as a discussion, find out. Ma'am, I have a query. Take a minute. And there is uh, one person has asked a question. Fresher, right? Please understand every person on this planet was a fresher one day. Every person, whoever is working today, it is only about that first job. Now, for example, all of you must have, uh, you know, gone through your books and everywhere it was mentioned that, you know, uh, freshers brings a lot of ideas, freshers brings fresh talent, fresher has a great Enthusiasm, more or pressure comes with low cost. <laughs> yes or no? Yeah, great. And best thing is this, you know, you don't have to reshape. You don't have to unlearn freshers. Freshers comes like a blank slate. Ek mitti ke tera aate, unko jaise shape do, jaise career And most of the time, the toughest thing is unlearning. You learn something, in our earlier company, this used to happen. In our earlier company, this is, in our earlier company, that is past. Yes. Great. So I will take a pause here. Thank you, Supruti. You know, someone was asking me, who was asking me a question just soon? Someone was asking me, I said, just wait, let me address. Yeah. I've... Okay. So it's an open secret that because of pandemic, you have lost the job. You have lost the job. You have not committed a crime. You have lost the job. Please understand, if you carry the guilt, the guilt will be shown on your face. Now, after that, what is it that you have done in the lockdown? How did you utilize that time? You keep blaming lockdown. Because see, same lockdown has created a lot of opportunity for others. Believe me today, the way we are meeting, it wouldn't have possible without Zoom or without lockdown. Am I right? We learn a lot of new things. 
So in the lockdown, what are the new certifications you have done? What new skills you have developed? What new projects you have done? How, for example, if you are from HR, have you done like, what are the strategies companies use to bring back workforce? What are the new policies they have come up with safety and security? Please let me tell you, you know, we have to get up from the bed. And what is bed? Blaming, excuse, and denial. Get over it. World is beautiful place. God will give you a lot of opportunity. What makes a difference is me. Yeah, and that is very important. We, every day we are writing our own stories. Either we can say, oh, world was bad. Oh, the industry was bad and this has happened with me. Or you can say, hey, it's okay. The world was like this and this pandemic, I did this. I know there are a lot of sad stories, but there are many inspiring stories during lockdown. Focus on that. Focus on positive, you will get positive. Focus on problems, you will get problems. Okay? So I'll just take a pause because there are so many students have also joined in for to know about our HR analysis and HR generalist course. So if you have any queries about those courses, please let me know. Anything you want to know about the courses, we have Rahul, Rahul Sethi. He's a co-founder of uh, Protach, and he's also here to address your queries regarding HR analytics, HR generalist. Let me know about it if you have. If not, keep typing your questions. I'll be here for the next five, 10 minutes. What is the average package, Surabhi Sharma? I mean, the question is not complete. Average package. Okay, so I think Rahul will be the right person. He is the program director of HR analytics. So Rahul, would you like to answer that question, please? So, Surbhi, I am not fully clear on the question. Is your question, what's the cost of HR analytics program or you're asking what's the salary you will get after doing HR analytics? <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> so your question is not clear. I want to ask after doing this program salary. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. So, so, so Rubi, what I suggest is if you can, it all depends on your previous uh, roles. What are your skill set? How much of analytics you understand? And what are the kind of roles you're targeting? Okay. If I give you average, I can, you know, more than average, I can give you a range. Yeah. Someone who wants to go into HR analytics as a field can draw anywhere between 5 lakhs to 25 lakhs. It all depends what is the role you are targeting, you know, as an individual. Uh, so if you want, we can do a much larger discussion. Uh, are you in touch with anyone from ProTouch, uh, Surabhi, already? Or is this uh, the first time you are attending any program? Okay, so someone is asking uh, about um, mm, what is it? What is it? So okay. I'm putting one number of Mohit. Uh, he's uh, one of our team leaders. Uh, Surbi, if you're not in touch with anyone, you please take down this number. Uh, his name is Mohit and he will connect your discussion. You know, he'll schedule a discussion with me. I would love to have an interaction with you to understand your aspiration and then advise you accordingly. Great. So there is a question. What is the overview of HR executive and HR generalist? Today in the afternoon only we were having this discussion in the office. So please understand, you need to, there are sometimes companies use as a fundamental uh, designation. Okay. And sometimes to attract good talent, they also give HR executive because most of the time it is observed that no one wants to join as a recruiter. So instead of recruiter and recruitment executive, they will say HR executive. So very important that you need to go through the JD, that is job description. When you will go through the job description and uh, 
you know, the complete JD, you will get to know the role. So HR executive can be also doing HR generalist role or also can be only recruiter or are you getting my point? So generalist and executive can be similar. So I always say go and deep more uh, and try to get more information. So for example, generalist is takes care of many functions. It can be talent acquisition, payroll, PMS, training and development, compensation, totally depends, okay? So you may not be able to take five functions at a time, but it can be three functions at a time also. Oh, you are asking very important question. We train our participants on making recruitment tracker and everything. So it is a very, very long thing and discussing this in the class here right now will be very difficult. So, Jashan, Jashan, anyway, is part of our program. So, Jashan, you will you will learn it during the program. Okay, she's a student of ours. Okay. Uh, there is another question: difference between HR generalist and HR analytics. Rahul, would you like to take that? Yeah. So, uh, Taizuba, you have asked a nice question. First of all, let me tell you both these things: HR generalist or HR analytics. They are roles as well as they are skills. Okay? And you can use them interchangeably. HR generalist is a skill that you learn and you can also use it in a role called HR generalist. HR generalist is someone who is handling all the functions of HR, right from HR planning to uh, acqu acquisition of talent and retaining those talent in any, any organization. That's a that's a role of generalist who who is doing the overall duties of HR as a function and has a good understanding of all the processes of HR. He may not be doing any specialist role, but he is doing a more generalist role, handling all the processes of HR in any organization. Whereas someone who is doing a role of HR analytics is someone who is having a strong domain knowledge of HR. He understands all the processes of HR. He or she and using his skills of analytics by looking at the past data and solving organization problem with respect to HR through data modeling and analytics. That's the role of HR analyst. Uh, however, HR analytics can also be used as a skill to solve HR problems in various, various HR processes. You know, you could be HR journalist using a skills of analytics and solving those problems. So both these are looked at from lens of a skill and a lens of a role, you know, and, and can be used interchangeably. Yeah, I hope you uh, got your answer. And if you need a little more detailing around it, uh, you know, please schedule a discussion with me. I can, you know, and or this is for everyone. If anyone of you want to schedule a discussion with me or Dr. Aparna, uh, please reach out to uh, any one of us. Uh, we will uh, help you. If you're already speaking to someone in ProTouch, they will help you fix up a call. If not, I am putting a number of Mohit. Uh, he is also there on the, on the discussion right now. You can reach out to him and he will help you uh, fix up a time with us for a little more detailed discussion. Okay, I hope you found the session insightful. I hope I could contribute to some extent. You might have got something on which you can work upon. And uh, please take action because that's the difference between a person with the plan and the person with success. Make sure or by this weekend you have two, three video resumes ready. Take feedback and get ready. Yes? Um, I have uploaded my video resume in IIM Jobs. Uh, but it is a very simple video. I just looked on the camera and I just recorded whatever experience I had. And uh, about That's a different. That's very different. So this is where you are having virtual interview face-to-face. -face. That's what we are saying. Right? 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful time ahead. Time to say bye bye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank, Thank you so much, ma'am. Yeah. Bye. All the best. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye.